हेलो कोटर्स वेलकम टू डे बाइट स्कूल डे 17 सेशन ऑफ मास्टरिंग स्प्रिंग बूट सो इन दिस सेशन वी फोकसिंग ऑन लॉगिंग यूजिंग लॉग फोर जे टू ओके सो लॉगिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज वेन यू पुश योर प्रोजेक्ट टू अ प्रोडक्शन ओके एंड योर प्रोजेक्ट इज लाइव इन इफ एनी इशू एकर इन अ प्रोडक्शन वी नीड टू फाइंड दैट इशू एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो वी नीड टू लॉग द accurate information in our code okay so by using that accurate information we find out the issue as quickly as possible so uh, there is a various way to implement uh, uh, logging in a spring boot so uh, spring boot uh, come with a default logging uh, which is sl4j okay simple java logging api okay uh, facad okay so underlined uh, there is a lots of implementation over there one of the implementation log4j then logback Over there, then J U L O R also there. Okay, so in this video, we focusing on a log four J two. Okay, so I already did a code changes. Uh, uh, I will explain the whole step by step process to implement that. Uh, if I write a code in a video, so the video become a uh, too lengthy. So that reason to save a time, I already code that. Okay, so uh, first step, uh, you need to add log four J two dependency in your a uh, pom file okay after that uh, spring boot has a default sl4j simple logging facad for java so you need to exclude that okay so for excluding we need to add this a uh, dependency okay and after that uh, uh you need to add this log4j file in your resource folder okay so maven main then resource okay so uh, in main resource folder you need to add this uh, log4j uh, hyphen spring dot xml file so i will explain the whole uh, what 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 all contain so this uh, section represent the file so whenever you run your application the specific log file will be created so this is name of our log file devbyte school hyphen blocks dot log after that the format of uh, um, uh, printing a logs after that this is the console uh, format over there so in console we just mention at a uh, timing because this console uh, logs only for one or two hours and this log file for like 5 to 6 days and one month also that that reason we mention maintain a date and uh, timing also okay so after that like we uh, there is a important uh, stuff is like level okay so there is a multiple la la layer in logs okay one is like uh, trace then debug then info warn then error then uh, fatal okay so in project mainly uh, we are using info and debug okay so here we define a level uh, is a info that it means uh, uh, the log will be printed uh, the info and above that so it will be print info log debug log and trace log okay so uh, that's enough configuration required to enable uh, the logging so let's jump to a code uh, how we can implement that in a code level okay so uh, first important annotation you need to add in a spring boot is a sl4j okay after adding sl4j annotation okay you can use info info over there to print the log so here uh, for example in uh, create block i print a log like request receive uh, with a body okay after any exception acquire uh, i like printing like uh, something went wrong okay so here like we need to follow some standard like um, uh, this log uh, come come for which class okay so i mention the class name block controller and after that i mention a method which is create block call okay uh, same i did for update block okay so here like request received okay for that particular class and uh, that particular method then uh, record not found for blog id for this record not for exception after that um, if any uh, internal server issue happen so i print like something went wrong okay after that like uh, here i use a to string method so in your uh, dto class okay you need to implement this annotation which is to string okay so it will be uh, print the whole uh, a uh, string information okay so uh, one thing you you can observe here i i use info for um, uh, this request okay and here i use debug because like uh, when you uh, searching a log okay uh, sometime like use uh, you use uh, checking the exception okay there is like a 10 to 10 or 5% probability exception will be occur 
so it not make sense to add exception logs in a uh, info so that reason we are adding in a debug level okay so first we check uh, info logs and we need to analyze further then we check a debug log okay yeah so let's uh, run our spring boot application and uh, check uh, in a log file uh, that is printing or not uh, so okay so our project runs successfully let's uh, go to our chrome browser and um, hit uh, localhost uh, 8080 swagger ui and first uh, let's save the blocks okay uh, give some information like title like uh, uh, spring uh, Spring boot log 4j2. Okay, then copy that same stuff in description also. Um, after that, uh, use user ID like 101. Okay, click on execute. After clicking, uh, we receive message like blog is saved successfully. Okay, uh, so let's go to our uh, project root folder. Okay and uh, check that log file created not because i am not defined any path in my uh, log4j.xml so it will be take a root path of our project so here one log folder is created and in log folder uh, dev byte school blog log created okay so when i open this uh, log file uh, you see that whole information present in this file okay so here uh, uh, message will uh, like created request receive with body okay and whatever we information uh, pass in like uh, our uh, uh, request that will be received okay yeah that's it from today's video i will commit the log4j code to our github repository you can refer from there okay and if you still have any question please write down in comment we will try to address that if you like our video gives us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, and let's meet on a next video till then happy coding